Dodd from Get Your Rock On. I'm very pleased to be sat here in Manchester with Bloodyard. How are you guys doing? Yeah, okay. brilliant. Good. Thank you. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> Bit tired, you know. <laughs> That's all. I'm quite familiar with you guys. I've seen you up in Lancaster a couple of times. It's the first time we're uh, kind of hanging out. But uh, how have you arrived at headlining the Academy? To be honest, I think through trolling the Academy website, I came across the email address for Dusty Pop and just on the off chance sent him an email and I think it was just after Christmas, got a reply back asking us to headline, so we're really pleased with it. Now, uh, I've been trying to impress on people uh, what the Lancaster scene is really like. I mean, it's a very expansive scene for just a uh, small town. Uh, how did you guys become familiar with it? How did you first get involved in it? Well, to be, well, we've all been playing in bands around Lancaster for years now. I think it started when I was about 17. And like you say, for such a small town, there's a lot of music going on in it, really. Yeah, Especially definitely. Not that many venues to be playing in Lancaster. It's all, it's a lot going on there. Well, with the music festival as well, you know, you've got all different sort of music from jazz and then you've got like the acoustic stuff. I mean, metal used to be really, really big back, yeah, back, in, back in the day. It's quietened down a bit, you know, there's not many metal bands anymore were kind of one of the only ones at the current time that are doing something outside of Lancaster, you know. It's a very big scene for uh, student bands from the university. Would you say it's a good town to like learn to ply the trade of being a musician if you're just starting? It is because with things like having the musicians co-op available is invaluable practice space, recording studio, equipment hire. They really help you out. And the venues that we've got, the Oaks House and the Bobbin, are all really good, really friendly venues that you never get any trouble in them. So it's a good place to go and learn. Apart from yourselves, who I'm sure everyone will be checking out, um, who in Lancaster do you think should be getting more attention? A favourite of mine are the Fighting Keegans. Yeah, they're just the two people. Fighting Keegan's are they're really awesome. Groovy, really nice guys as well. So. Great musicians as well. Like, I mean, I do a lot of jam nights with them, and you know, the drummer and guitar player just really good. Yeah, definitely yeah. checking them out. And uh, Fighting Bears as well. Fighting Bears are yeah, really cool. Good lads. Yeah, good lads. They play Manchester now and then as well. I would definitely recommend them. Massive Wagons recommended the Fighting Keegan's. Well, I talked to them as well, so they come uh, highly praised. Yeah. Right, highly praised indeed. Yeah. yeah, definitely. I mean, Massive Wagons, they're, they're like a different ball game, really. They're, they're you know, totally awesome as well. You know. And Promethium. Yes, yeah, well, Promethium. Definitely Prometheum. worth checking Promethium out too. They're doing well for themselves. Great bunch of guys as well. Fantastic. Great to work. Tell us about your support bands tonight as well. How did you guys, uh, first off, how did you decide on having them help you uh, tear the academy up and uh, what they like? Uh, we, actually, we didn't. It was all booked through Dusty Pop. They picked the support bands and to be honest, we haven't seen much more than the sound check. So we're looking forward to getting to watch the proper sets later on. There's a whole new experience for everyone then. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. The, reason why we do it, well, the reason why I do it, you know, listen to different type of music and to be honest with you, like, just playing with local bands or whatever, you know, there's some music that's it's just unfortunate that they haven't been heard yet, you know. I think it's really, you know, it needs to be pushed a bit more because there's some great musicians and bands out there that need to be known outside of, you know, the usual sort of, you know, things. Let's talk about you guys, uh, your band history. How did you all get together, first of all? Um, well, we've all been friends for a lot of years. I got a message off Donna wanting to jam. We then got Matty in, because Matty and Donna are in doing another band as well. So we brought Matty in. I think we bumped into Dave in the pub one night, so he <laughs> fancy coming down for a jam. <laughs> we came down for a jam, and to be honest, it just clicked, and we ploughed on from there, really. Was death metal like a group choice or was it just you you and Donna like wanted to do it and you found like-minded people? No, it was more, that's just what came out really when we all put our own influences in. Obviously with Donna's vocal style is quite heavy so you've got to have the music to back that up and say me and Matty are big death metal fans ourselves so that's obviously more where we end up going down that direction of playing. Who would you say are your biggest influences? Like, I mean, individually and as a collective? For me, on the death metal side of things, the more melodic sort of carcass, arch enemy, general metal, the usuals, Metallica, Pantera, all that ones really. Yeah, for me, probably the progressive rock sort of thing, like Rush, Dream Theater, Yes, that sort of thing, and then I'm like, I'm into all different kinds of music, you know. Does that impact your, your writing in any way, the progressive elements? 
Um, not really, because I don't try and push it too much. I, I think with us, we just, I think a lot, the problem with some bands is they want to go so technical and follow and try and top each other, whereas I think we just, just want to just keep it up. It's just metal, you know. Like with no time signatures or anything like that, or at least not intending to. I think people think about it too much. We just write it, and whatever comes out, whatever sounds good, well, yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. So very much just go heavy. Yeah. Yeah. Very <laughs> much. Yeah. 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 Definitely. Tell us uh, what can Manchester expect from the show tonight, and for the people watching this who uh, aren't familiar with Bloodyard, how would you describe a Bloodyard show? High energy, groovy, loud, and usually a few jokes chucked in there as well. Yeah, <laughs> something will go wrong, because <laughs> it always does. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, you guys are going to be out on stage pretty shortly, so we'll wrap this up. You have a message right into the camera for all our readers that get your rock out. Uh, check us out. Facebook. Listen to us. Reverb Nation. Come on to a gig and have a party with us. Yeah, have a laugh. That's what it's all about. <laughs> Cheers. Thanks very much, guys. Have a good show tonight. Thank you very much.